Welcome back to TP2's Bowling Monarchs. Let's take a look at today's match in our little King of the Hill series. So, Dinger Dang still holds the crown. He stole the crown from Jeffy and then beat Peter Griffin to retain the crown. So he is defending for the second time this week. So, let's take a look at his opponent and that is Lucia. This is gonna be very exciting. So if you're ready, don't forget to destroy that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn all the bells necessary, and also get excited, cause this video starts right now. All right, here we go. Dinger Dang is back to defend. Good start. This is Dinger Dang's third appearance. Second day on the throne. Looking to close the week with the crown. Lucia is the table tennis champ, so she is going to be a very worthy opponent. Oh, solid knife hit. Cover? Okay. Lucia in the second. Doubles up. No! Solid eight. Comebacks to haunt everyone. Finger dang, there you go. See ya in third. That looks a little bit light, and that's the two eight ten. She gonna make this one. No whip. Open frame for Lucia. Anything can happen in these matches. Trip 10. Finger dang doubles up. Oh, 7 pin, no! Lucia. Gonna try to pick up the 7 pin. She does. Not the best way to recover from an open frame, though. Dinger Dang working on a double. And he keeps it going. Double. Becomes a turkey. Gobble, gobble. And we're just about halfway there. As always, these matches will be a best of three to determine who takes the crown. About six. And a Thanksgiving feast. The Dinger Dang family is very happy. Lucia. Seven pin. In the eight. I'm pretty sure this strike and a little bit of count will pretty much steal the deal. All right, let's see if Lucia strikes here, and we'll see what, how much Dinger Dang needs. That's a strike. Dinger Dang's match with Jeffy went to game three. Beat Peter Griffin in a sweep. And Dinger Dang is already up game one. That's pretty solid right there. He's locked in. Going into game two. He's got the angle, and there's the solid eight again. All right. 
Now I'm gonna say this. Comment down below how many solid eight pins have we made, and how many solid eight pins we do you think will happen in game two? I'm already thinking ahead. And there's a big one. Like a little bit high, and a little bit high. I'll say a lot high. But 279, 207, Dinger Dang takes game one. Needs one more game to, cle to keep the crown. Let's go on to game two. Dinger Dang's been red hot this season. Keeps it going. And we're only a few videos into season six. See ya. Good start. Clip seven. Ding or dang. There you go. You, you almost lost the angle that you, that you created in the first game. Sort of figured it out by the 10th frame. Nice, dialed in. See is also working on the double as well. How about a gobble gobble? Both players are starting a Thanksgiving feast. Hambones! Yeah, that's a little bit high. Okay, not a lot of trouble there. Four seven. Not much to cover. Dinger dang in the fifth. He's on a roll. Trips out the tan. I didn't think we'd get around, but it did. Lucia, slow down the ball speed, and it worked. Dinger Dang is on a roll, and he has completed another Thanksgiving feast. The Dinger Dang family is very happy. Oh no, look out. He's never hooked. And that's trouble. Nice cover! That's actually not easy. The trouble comes from that back pick. The Dinger Day is working on 70. Four pick. Working on perfection. Keeps it going. Sia needs to strike here. She does. She's still alive. No open frame so far. This game. Oh, that went a little bit high. Trips out the seven. For the front nine. Danger Day is going into the tent with a shot at perfection. He needs count to win. Gets the count, gets the strike, gets the win. And Danger Day with another sweep. He's going to close out the week with the crown, and he would like to also close out the week with a perfect game. He needs one more. He's still lock in. Does he have it? Oh, yeah! He does! That's 
the way to end the week. Double one for the Sia. It's been over. Going straight down the gut for a strike. Oh yeah. That's how you end it. Well, we see I couldn't catch up that entire game. It's hard to beat a 300, though. The best thing you can do is 300 and then force a roll off. But that means Dinger Dang keeps the crown. His Majesty will go on to next week and face a whole new set of players. Tune in next week and tune in next time. Until till then, don't forget to destroy that like button, subscribe to my channel, and all the bells necessary. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you anytime soon. DP2 out.